Tuesday night. Tuesday night, racing Rant Park, and we've had to assume the old, uh, uh, what do we say, dark position because I've taken so long on this wiring car, particularly the last couple of races. Nevertheless, okay, so 65 horses except for wiring and an eight race card, that's not promising, but um, it is what it is. Wyong tomorrow, obviously there's a bit of moisture around, it's, it's you know, it's murky. But the rail in the four metre position, it, it doesn't really help many horses at all. It's four metres is up on the speed, inside works okay on that position. And we start with a Colts and Geldings Maiden, 1200 metres and $2.40, favourite amazing story, the uh, Snowden runner. $2.60 the O'Shea run at uh, May, $7.50 the bottom two, and $101 the despised bull rope. Had R May leading, and amazing story, draws gate one tomorrow, so won't be as far away as it was on debut at Canterbury. That's pretty much all I'll say. Gord, is there any edge here? I had to try very hard at this race, um, because there's nothing that stamps itself as, you know what I mean, when I was doing the when I was doing the reviews of race meetings, I couldn't find a horse that I'd stamped in this particular race that I wanted to back next start. But when I interrogated it a little bit more, I don't know, specifically or something like that, I did come up with number two, um, Ahmet, which is the um, O'Shea horse. Um, if you notice at Canterbury, um, led inside barrier, got crossed, ended up having to be OSL, it's fitting a couple of pearls there, isn't it? Gotta love the pearls. Where would we be without them? You know, oh, how, do, how do you possibly attack a program without them? Mm. And, um, yeah, go on. Go yeah, on. look, better better the day there, Arme. He's third up, he's on the eight days, so on the seven day back up, um, Gunn retains the ride. I realise Amazing Story did a reasonable job off a uh, surprising number of trials before debuting at the night meeting not so long ago. The bottom two can't walk. Um, yep. Australia Justice and Kaysan Platoon. Mm. Uh, look, they went fairly in a provincial race, but they're up against two Metro Maiden runners, so let's not look at them. Um, I think Arme's just got, um, he's cranked up here. Um, faster time than improvement last start. Yeah, look, he was a bit, he was a bit, you know, I know it's now third up O'Shea, and perhaps they're better yeah. off, better off, um, early in their campaign like you know first or second up and third up is perhaps uh, a little long in the tooth I'm just going uh, like it's terrible when I get down to times because you know I don't um, pay much I don't know how did you even look at times well, well that's how I actually was trying to actually determine whether I liked one or two and like one over the 1100 meters um, was clearly slower wasn't it the other yeah, but the it, like it went day, back so. from a wide draw. Um, it was a moderately run race. Yeah. You know, it, times times can lead you down a blind alley. But uh, yeah, look, I'd suggest it's a match race, and I'm clearly in number two's corner. I agree with you. Race two, a fillies and mare, the fillies and mares version, and not a cherry resuming from a reasonable spell. Two dollars fifty. Epitomise is three dollars. Painted lady is four dollars. $13 Queen Louise and Long Odds the other three. Now, um, Painted Lady is a three-year-old filly that's resuming here in her second preparation. She has good toe. Uh, Not a Cherry certainly has enough speed to lead the race and Epitomise did in fact lead her maiden first up, but I wouldn't expect it to lead tomorrow. Uh, I believe there's a bit of a disappointment here for you, Gord. There is indeed. I uh, managed to get um, a peanut on Painted Lady at $12. About three six five. No one else put up anything like that, did they? Yeah, did. It was actually across the board. Yeah, I um, I snipped my maximum bet. Um, what, which is $4? <laughs> I used one bowler, so I only got one decent bet on it at $12. Oh, you actually got a decent bet on it at $12? Not what I would call a decent we, bet. We might like to share this with our viewers, I think. Can you spread the love? Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so I, I've backed Painted Lady at twelve dollars to win about. No, no, $1, but you actually have to give them away. Like we have to give to you know the, the winning contestant will get the odds to win five. Open up an account in your wife's sister's brother's dog sitting's partner. Right. 
and you might get something on at those particular ones. Okay. So yeah, I've. What um, was the appeal here? You know, we should, should get perhaps walk back to the. Um, did you like this horse in the get-go, and then you saw the big odds, or did you just? Think okay, it's a good chance, and you know when you're doing odds. the form, sometimes you actually look at a horse and you go, "That's not going to be found." And then when you check the prices, and you're thinking, "I'm going to snip up as much as the six or sevens on offer as possible," and it's twelves, well then, right? You know, okay, so, so so it's not it's not my normal betting procedure because normally I'm just snapping things uh, sharp in the yeah market, yeah that you you like I like I like I yeah, like yeah but I so saw do a you couple like of this? things I, I I well I think it's there's some question marks about a lot of horses in this race. Um, I didn't like the rain that we had today. I wanted it on a good track. If you notice, it trialled last preparation behind um, uh, Guard in Honour and Conchita. That was a, a, a trial on a good track. It actually, its, fir its first three runs that it ever had were on soft seven or worse. Um, it actually came out of a terrible time um, trial last uh, at Wyong. Yeah, yeah, they, they, it, it was, was perhaps a, the slowest was, time of the day. It was the weirdest trial you've ever seen in your whole life, isn't it? Like it was getting necked the whole way. And then when he actually let the reins down, it put like three lengths on them within a twinkle of an eye. Um, I'm not saying that, that that at the current price, which I think is into about $4 now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's the best price right now. And I think uh, that bet's ready to five and all the other corporates are shorter. That it's a bet now. I was I was crossing my fingers and hoping I could wake up at nine o'clock tomorrow morning and and be left with fewer fingers yeah, than you started yeah, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I also was interested in uh, number one, not a cherry. But um, what did you say? Anthony about? Cummings. He's just been a bit quiet lately, hasn't he? Um, not he's, a cherry. She she trialled stylishly at the short course as he does. Uh, look, I think the soft, uh, despite the fact that I've got it about this price. Number two is actually the weak link in the race. She was, first up, she had everything go her way. Um, like she controlled the race beautifully. It was like time to shine lady. And look, if she gets control tomorrow, which I'm not tipping, um, that could work for her, but I think she's the weak link. Uh, number one, definitely, you know, been disappointing, but uh, gets her chance. Painted Lady, uh, a very interesting runner, two trials. First up in second preparation, and there's nothing else. See, there is nothing else. I, I think that's probably why they were so interested in the $12. Um, tomorrow, I'd suggest that I'm going to be backing number one. Okay, watch this space. And then we get to see a two-year-old race, race three. And I'd suggest this is actually a magic, oh look, it's a magic millions, it's a lead up to a Magic Millions lead up. Oh. Because I don't recall seeing a two year old race uh, at the Provincials uh, midweek prior to the Magic Millions race at Wyong, which is on in a couple of weeks. So, and most of these runners are Magic Millions horses, so it's time to shine, Madonica. And I think Legal Girl may not be a Magic Millions horse, but uh, certainly the gay runner is. And she's not favourite. Legal Girl for Gun is favourite at $2.60. Madonica is $3.30. $7 Sebring Express. $8 Stanley Park. And $12 Imperial Eagle, who comes out of a... What unfortunately is a tragic race on Muscle Cup Day. Unfortunately, we've been arguing with our esteemed uh, colleague, Dicko, who owns the winner, Daniki. And I've had to tell him that she should be immediately retired. I'll sell her. It was, it was some of the worst time I've ever seen in my whole life. It wasn't stylish at all. And if you notice, another one of the horses in the race is actually out of the same race as well. Yeah, they're both locally trained Imperial Eagle and, <coughs> and Z Optimus, but uh, I'd suggest that's about all they've got going for them. Um, any opinion here? Legal Girl's been back to the trials since her debut behind. I definitely behind. am going to be backing number six, Madonica. Um, when a stable is on fire, when you have the best front-running rider in Sydney on it, and it will be leading, I'd suggest that that's a good price. Would I like to see a little bit more style in its trial? Yes, I would. Um, but that's a stamp back for me, because for me, I assess that as even money. 
So any black I can get, I will be Look, taking. I have to agree with you. I'm surprised it's not favourite. We're up against, you know, Portelli and Clary Connors who... Mm. Oh, sorry, it is Clary, yes, it's Clary Connors who just... You know, I know he trained a lot, a lot of slipper winners a long time ago, but he's not front and centre. You know, he's just he's just picking up the pieces. He's done all these beautiful things, but yeah, I know. He's like tick, 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 uh, I don't care about its trial since it because it's already had a run. It's like if you've had oh, a run. No, no, no. Sorry, the one that Madonica, we're, we're on top. Um, yeah. Okay, like I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying this yeah, but is one, like a dollar the, fifty oh, chance if it was just like know, a little it, bit more juicy. Well, in the trial. you know, it won the trial. It's it's like mm. it's here to prepare for the race in a fortnight's time. Um, yeah. Uh, the Gary Moore trained male Stanley Park has done you know some things that I liked, although the males have been. You know, they've been outshone by the females at that um, through this early half of the season simply because they're, you know, they're just not able to put it all together. But uh, certainly an interesting horse. And Sebring Express ran in a hot race at Kembla, but did get distanced. So, um, you know, it seems well enough found there at $7. It's, uh, Do we have to mention that Dick, I think, is number one Imperial Eagle is immoral? No. No, we <laughs> You know, like, like, that's the trouble with owning horses. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're too you're, invested, aren't you? Your emotions yeah, are all yeah. there. You can't be objective. And uh, Imperial Eagle is not going to be winning tomorrow. Uh, race four, the uh, let's have a 2100 metre class one set weights uh, race. And the market sees, well, it's an odd collection of horses, but not an odd collection of horses, but $3.50 is Scandal Sheet, $4.60 Loud Enough, $4.60 Secumzi. $4.80 J Zoo, 15 just away, 17 scraps, and may as well mention the top one, $31. And Gord, this is this is the classic scenario of the distance race, which I uh, I guess points to why you, you tend to avoid them. We've got Loud Enough, who only got beaten 16 and a quarter lengths at Goulburn at, at his last start, and Scandal Sheet, who only got beaten 37 and a half lengths at his last start, and they are 1 2 in the market. Yeah, but there's no form, you see. Well, there's nothing else to find. Um, no, no, there is not. I mean, you know, good old Jay Zoo, he, I keep putting him in there, and he's just, he's such a struggler, isn't he? I mean, he's had the run over 2000, he's got a quickish backup, and he's got Ty England, and he chased okay the other day, but God, he lets you down when he's in the weakest races. I, for me, I'll, I'll let you talk about it far more, obviously. What, because, because you I'm, couldn't be bothered? Yeah. I just, if you forgive loud enough last start, yeah. it's all done. Right. That's all. That's yeah. All well, it was, uh, it was an odd race at Goulburn on Cup Day where they strung out. Obviously, he comes back to the scene of his um, scene of his win three starts back, which was quite good. He then had a break and ran in a shitty race at Gosford. Uh, Scandal Sheet's been back to the trials since he um, since he had his doozy at Hawkesbury um, in a benchmark 59. That's awful. But um, I would suggest that they are the two chances. Uh, Jezu, I've mentioned. So Kumsi has had a few runs out wide. He comes back to his home track. Hold on a sec. So, you, so two chances are three loud enough and five scandals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The further you're beaten of your last yeah, start, the, <laughs> the better chance you are. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it, What can I say about the race? It's, uh, it's one of those races. But why uh, hasn't Bindi Cheers got a horse in this race? Send Fraser's down or something like that. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not sure if Fraser's <coughs> relevant for this race, but send something down for Christ's sake. She's been going well with Charlie Royale, of course, trained by her husband, Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the first, should we do one more race, Gord, because it's such a light first half of the card. And there actually are actually eight races. Yeah, it? there are yeah. eight races. Believe it or not, 65 runners, eight races. We'll knock off the Mile Maiden, which is race five, and $1.40, fantastic man. $8 Guthrum, $12 Sugarland Express, $15 Quaff, and $21 We're Smoking, who I believe you tipped a couple of starts ago. $34 Mitch and Jazz, $100 Taser. This is a $40,000 maiden, so this is the feature race on the card. And let me tell you, Racing New South Wales, if you program a 
1500 metre race at Hawkesbury on Sunday, a 1600 metre race at Wyong on Wednesday, a 1500 metre race at Kembla on Saturday and another 1600 metre race at Hawkesbury on Sunday, mm. you will not get any field for your $40,000 $40, maiden. Mm. That is just as simple as it is. By all means, make a feature of a maiden, but make sure that you force horses into Oh, that's into so it. true. Yeah. Oh, look, I mean, I don't mind small fields, but when Fantastic Man just simply has to win, did you see? Did terrible you see? situation, isn't it? You know, this, can you see any, anything else? It's 20 lengths better than any other horse in the race. Um, so, yes, Fantastic Man breaks his maiden tomorrow. I will say that Sugarland Express is a bit hidden in his last start. He's got such terrible connections that uh, I really shouldn't even say that. You go over near Zumbelina, Akibaba, Black Marker, Cosmic Engine. Like, I know. It's just ridiculous, isn't I it? I know, and he showed pace the other day. Yeah, on our OSL, wasn't it? He showed pace. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, yeah. welcome to the winning circle, fantastic right. man. And that will see the end of part one for the cracking card at <laughs> Wyong tomorrow. You know tomorrow. what I love? I love how you get, you get so upset about finding a moral. <laughs> oh, it's just boring, Gordon, finding these winners. It is, indeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>